Now, food structure is really important because um, it affects the, the way we digest foods and how that influences the release of nutrients and how we absorb different nutrients and bioactives. And that can also affect how, how we respond to, to, that, to that food. Uh, so it can affect things like appetite, satiety, uh, glycemic index, and then that affects the development of various diet-related conditions such as obesity or type 2 diabetes. There are three main areas that we're interested in uh, in terms of the digestion of food structures. Uh, the first one is what's happening in the stomach, uh, what's happening to the structure, is it phase separating, is it turning from liquid or solid. That affects how quickly it will empty from the stomach, it'll affect how full you feel and, and the rate of digestion of those, those nutrients. Secondly, what's happening in the small intestine? How are those structures being digested? How are the nutrients being released? How are the different uh, components in the food being released and absorbed by the body? And this can affect things like appetite and, and satiety. And finally, how um, different components are transported across the mucus barrier. And the mucus barrier is there to protect us against uh, harmful substances, uh, bacteria and it's not really known how that forms a barrier against uh, things like nutrients and how nutrients can, can pass across that, that barrier. The reason we're doing this work at IFR is because we have a mix uh, of scientists from different backgrounds. We have physicists, chemists, biologists, uh, gut physiologists, and we're using all that knowledge together to develop uh, in vitro models uh, so we can understand in a lot more detail what's happening during the digestion process. So we've developed a, a dynamic model of the stomach so we can understand exactly what's going on during the mixing process in the stomach and how different nutrients are being released. Uh, there's also an advanced model of the, the colon which looks at the gut bacteria and how they respond to, to different foods and different components. And this gives a much deeper understanding of what's happening during the digestion process in vitro and then we take that work forward and we work with other researchers uh, across the research park and also other universities to understand what's happening uh, within humans. So we, we do some uh, MRI imaging with the hospital here and looking at what's happening in the stomach. We have projects with Imperial College London who have expertise in uh, gut hormones so they can measure satiety and appetite and we're trying to relate how food structure can influence appetite uh, in humans. And also we're working with the University of Glasgow and Nottingham on, on how this affects um, different, other different physiological responses within the body. We also have links with the University of Birmingham who are developing a, an advanced duodenal model so we can understand in more detail how digestion in the small intestine is affected by food structure. The main outputs of this research will be a, a, a deep knowledge and understanding of what's happening to food structures during digestion in order that uh, we can understand how this affects uh, health impacts like satiety and appetite. So if you can delay the digestion of certain foods, you can uh, protect the body against uh, developing type 2 diabetes. Um, this, this has obvious health impacts on the health of the nation, uh, the NHS spends more than 10% of its entire budget on treating obesity and type 2 diabetes. So if we can come up with uh, novel strategies for the food industry to design healthier foods which will have an impact on these conditions, then that will give more choice to the consumer and a wider availability of healthier foods that they actually enjoy eating. <laughs>